All right, so go ahead, pick up your shins here real quick. Yep, go ahead, pick up your legs, other leg. There we go, set it down there. There we go. And we're gonna start with some gliding cups a little bit, okay? Just get things broken up, and then I'll start digging my thumbs in there, and we'll find all the good stuff, okay? So, so with the cups, we like to park them, but then we can also glide them and kind of move them around. And then we can do different pressures, right? So those people just kind of go back and forth, just kind of getting things warmed up and getting the blood flowing. Okay, time to get my thumbs in here. So as I'm going through, I'm kind of feeling for jumps, right? So we feel those jumps, right? And that's kind of telling me where the knots are at. I knew I can see you had a lot of muscle, right? So I can really see the muscle releasing. Sometimes you can't see it, so that's where using my fingers are really good more really effective versus an elbow or a fist or a palm right because your fingers have a lot of sensors and you have a lot of nerves in your fingertips right so you can feel things and sense things and touch things okay and so as i'm touching the body i'm feeling that where things happening you know and that's a really good way to kind of just make sure that what I'm doing is working, okay? So now we're gonna work into the lats a little bit, right? The lat kind of comes down and opens up, like spreads out, right? So it's got a nice long head here and then it spreads out into a wide head, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to come along and I'll follow the top part of it. I'll go against the fibers and just slide down to the bottom and we'll feel it jump and right there, right? There's the bottom of it right there, right? And just pass through this a few times. I'm trying to use your rib too, right? So I'm literally trying to go as deep as I can to every last little fiber, right? And I'm not doing it like this, right? We're not doing it like this, okay? I'm really pushing in and I'm trying to use your bone to work with me here so we just smash these muscles. So we have like muscle compression or muscle smashing where I push into the body like this, right? But then we also have muscle decompression where I'm pulling on the muscle and pulling it away from the body, right? I'm not pushing in. So this would be muscle compression on the, on the traps. So I'm pushing it in. Feel that one? Feel that release? That was a good one right there, yeah. Like you have to hit the muscle a certain way, right? To get it to release. And it's almost like shooting a gun in the dark in a room at a target that you kind of know the general direction of it. Then once you hit it, it lights up. So then you see it and you're like, oh. And so you kind of have to find that little sweet spot. But then once you find it though, and you get good at it, you know exactly where it is almost every time. One thing I haven't talked about yet, we haven't hit on is your breathing right now, right? And so what, sh what should you be doing, right? What I want you to be doing is I want you to take a nice big deep breath in, okay? And then when you breathe out, I want you to sink into the table, okay? Because that's what I'm doing too, essentially. Each time you breathe out, you want to let my pressure kind of sink in, okay? And just relax. And just let it sink in. And let it melt away. Yep. Good job. Yep. Do that a few more times, okay? Take a nice big deep breath in. Good breathe out and just let it sink in. This is the good spot, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little tighter, yep. there's certain muscles that I cannot physically grab with my hands to decompress them, right? The cups, what they do is they will actually, you put it on the muscle, right? And it grabs the muscle and it pulls it and it stretches it away from it. So it's a decompression, okay? As I scan through the muscles, I find those knots and I find those adhesions and that's where I'm putting the cups at. And generally, you know, if you just kind of place them in a pattern along the back, along the erectors and all that kind of stuff, you just kind of know. So that's the cups. And it might be a little uncomfortable right now to start. So what you need to do is you just kind of need to breathe and visualize the cups and see the muscles getting sucked into the cups and letting them go, okay? Feel them getting stretched out, okay? And just breathe into the cups, okay? Move your ribs, activate your rib muscles, right? Oh yeah, see they feel a lot better now, right? So yep, you're a lot more relaxed, you know, you're not as tense, you're not as, uh, you know. Because when it's painful, you kind of tense up to fight it, right? But then when you kind of relax and just melt, that's where they start to feel better. It's like you're disconnecting from the matrix. I'm plugging in. Cupping spots warm, you know, but they just like in the wintertime, 